Typically, when you spend decades working at the same task, you expect it to get easier. Then I come back and I cut it. But for and this New Haven artist, there's a big mud hole there. Hand there. tooling and painting on leather canvases only gets tougher. I wish my mother was there. Because for Winfred Rembert, so she could see what I'm doing. Sitting at this table, oh, this tree was like with nothing. Always takes him back to the beginning. Oh man, things we had to go through, boy. It's just tough, man. No more. Rembert grew up in Cuthbert, Georgia in the 1940s, a time of incessant violence, poverty, and segregation. Turn back. Like many black men, he spent his childhood years picking cotton. Man, yeah, they was hot, man. And then, as a teen, decided to join the civil rights movement, which was a huge risk. My mother used to ask me, what do I, what do I rather do? Pick cotton? I'll go in the movement and get killed. He was almost killed after a violent protest. Rembert stole a car to get away from two white men trying to shoot him. It led to a 27-year prison sentence and time on a chain gang. I'm talking about a tough life as being a black man growing up. Mm. So tough, Rembert is still haunted by one early experience. I'm 71 years old and, and it still bothers me. You know, I, I can't sleep at night sometimes, you know? I dream about those things, man. Rembert dreams about the time he escaped prison. I'm running every night, trying to save my life. A life he thought was over after he was captured. They had me at the lynching scene, the ropes, the noose. For Rembert, this was a familiar scene in the South and he knew what was about to happen next. First, he was beaten repeatedly while one man was getting ready to castrate him with a knife. I could feel the blood running down my back. He was mean. And I was screaming, hollering like a pig. Surprisingly, he wasn't killed, but taken back to prison after a man who wanted Rimber to continue suffering instead stopped it all. Hmm. During his remaining time behind bars, Rembert wrote letters to local leaders about his unjust 27-year sentence. Oh, freedom. After five oh, years, a lawmaker heard his story and got him out of prison, a moment he'll never forget, especially with this photo of Rembert's first day as a free man, standing by his now wife, Patsy. She waited for him for about six Seven years? Yeah. It was Patsy, was along with Rembert's children. Nancy Rembert, that's the little sister. Who pushed him to use this art he learned while in prison. And I like that one too. To carve out his story. I could not imagine. And put it on display. He knew he was more than that. At galleries across the country. Being black wasn't a bad thing. For everyone to see. This has so many parallels to today, like when we did the march at Loomis. Meanwhile, back in his New Haven studio, Rembert says this self-taught art You see the pockets on those pants? forces him to confront the brutal past, including time on the chain gang and that still haunting experience. This piece he calls Almost Me. Although it's grim, Rembert says seeing the finished product of his life has helped him heal. Yep. They called me to be somebody. Now, Rembert says he's hoping his work will help the country do the same showing how much hurt is caused by hate. Just think about what this world would be if we, everybody, you know, loved each other. And be free.